Welcome to Frame Arms Girls Official Season 2. And yes, we have been renewed for another season! Yay! Once again, I will be your host for this season. My name's Estelle, and with the guidance of Robot Sensei, allow us to bring you to the world of Frame Arm Girls and more. Every year, Kotobukiya puts out great new plastic model kits. That means all new robots, but most importantly, all new Frame Arm Girls to check out. In today's episode, we will be checking out the Frame Arms Girl by Who. While most FA Girl designs are based off their existing Frame Arms counterparts, this particular FA Girl was actually designed and revealed at the same time as Frame Arms by Who. For comparison's sake, here is the Frame Arms by Who. Do you notice anything similar? Well. If you're familiar with the Metal Gear Solid series, you may realize that she shares some similarities to the Metal Gear robot. That is because the designer behind the Baihu is none other than Mr. Yoji Shinkawa, the mecha designer himself. His signature is even on the box. Isn't it amazing? A legend such as Mr. Yoji Shinkawa has jumped into the world of frame arms. I feel extremely blessed and lucky to be here to see history in the making. So, are you guys ready to dive into the first episode of the year? Let's go! Here are the runners for Baihu. If I were to do a comparison of pieces, she is towards the higher end, like the more recent Megami device kits. She doesn't have more than the Hares Velga, however. As we have just mentioned, Baihu does not have as many runners unlike most Frame Arms girls. This, however, puts her at a lower price point, making her slightly more affordable too. So one thing that makes Baihu stand out in particular is the helmet surrounding her head. Do be careful when removing the helmet or you might damage the connector pieces. Unlike most of the existing Frame Arms girls, the Baihu has many mechanical parts, so you won't run into any issues when cutting the skin color parts from the runners. From a builder's perspective, I feel like she is more towards an easier build. Her original counterpart has a lot of construction differences to most Frame Arms. But rest assured, Frame Arms Girl Baihu is the same as most Frame Arms Girls. In fact, because she has a lot more mechanical limbs, I feel like she is easier to construct than a regular Frame Arms Girl. So I'd actually highly recommend Baihu for beginners to the world of Frame Arms Girls. As we have already mentioned, Baihu does not have her own armorless parts. However, if you have a Frame Arms Girl or a Megami device lying around, you can give her an armless configuration. I'm sure if you're a collector just like me, we have many of these lying around. So, we just give you a look at how she will look like, just like this. And there we go. You can actually even use the ribbon parts for the armless mode, so you can actually give her some originality when recreating her in this armless mode. Finished and completed Frame Arms Girl by Who. So Ash, what do you think? I'm a huge fan of Yoji Shinkawa's style, and my friends know I'm a huge nerd of his works, and you can see his unique style seep through this plastic model. Also, that's the reason why I really wanted to push forward to rearing this FA girl. <laughs> she has very thin triangular cows and legs, reminiscent of the Shinkawa style, and her headpiece has a very iconic jaw shape, reminiscent of a certain robot he's very famous for. So Estelle, what do you think about Frame Arms Girl Baihu? What I really like about Frame Arms Girl Baihu is the variety of weapons that you can pick and choose from to customize her with. Like for example, if you like to give her a long range twin cannon or even a short range sword and pistol configuration, it is really entirely up to you. we have left on this session of Frame Arms Girls TV. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, but most importantly, click the bell button to be notified of our next episode. 
Or if you can't wait to the next episode, be sure to visit and like our Facebook page for more Frame Arms Girls goodness. You could also check me out on Instagram at SLFly. And you can check me out at Hige Channel. Or if you want to see my private model bills, you can check me out on my Twitter page below over here. Until then, my name has been Estelle. This has been Ash. Signing out. Bye! Bye!